Smithsonian Institution presents Dolphin's First Day, the story of a bottlenose dolphin by Kathleen Wiedner Zofeld, illustrated by Stephen James Petruccio. Are you ready? Here we go. Early one morning in the wide blue sea off the coast of Florida, a baby dolphin is born. He nestles close to his mother's side as they rise slowly through the water. Aww. Hello, little dolphin. Dolphins are cute. I love dolphins. Another dolphin swims nearby. She strokes the little calf with her flipper. The dolphin is his mother's best friend. She will be his nanny. Little dolphin feels his mother and nanny nudging him, pushing him up through the water, up until he feels cool air on his back. <laughs> he opens the blowhole on the top of his head and takes his first breath. He lifts his head and peeks out above the water. In all directions, as far as he can see, the ocean sparkles like melted gold. Yep, it's very beautiful. He looks up at a vast blue sky. The sun is a golden fire on the horizon. Ooh, nice metaphor. The morning air is quiet. But below, the, but below him, the ocean depths are alive with strange sounds. The little pops of snapping shrimp, the distant croaks and creaks of pilot whales, the grunts and squeaks of a thousand different fishes. Well, actually, if it's plural, it's fish, not fishes. But never mind. Let's keep going. Closer by, he hears clicks and whistling noises. He sees the gliding shapes of other dolphins. Altogether, there are eight dolphins in his pod, three mothers with babies, and two nannies. The pod swims slowly, letting little dolphin and his mother rest after the tiring birth. Down through the water, then up again for another breath, little dolphin begins to fidget. He is getting hungry. Mother rolls over and swims on her side, letting little dolphin wait, wait, swims on her side. Little dolphin learns to drink milk from his mother. He is sloppy at first, spilling milk everywhere. Oh, <laughs> oh my! The milk makes him feel strong and frisky. He practices pushing his flukes and flippers up and down through the water. Soon he will be swimming like an expert. The grown-ups approach Little Dolphin and gaze at him. They make soft whistling noises. <whistles> Little Dolphin tries to whistle back. Chirp! Chirp! He tries. His whistle is shaky and feeble. He practices his whistle again and again. Soon, Little Dolphin notices the grown-up's whistling becoming louder and, l and quicker. They all begin to swim fast. They spread out. Now the grown-ups are looking for fish. Little Dolphin feels himself being pulled along, along at Mother's side, the silvery water racing past his body. He hears the waters around him vibrate with the sound of the dolphin's echolocation signals. Their clicking sounds are propelled through the water ahead of them. 
Before long, they hear the clicks bouncing off hundreds of small moving shapes in the water. Echo Sense tells them a school of mullet is up ahead. They charge in closer. Nanny takes a turn watching the baby as his mother hunts. All around Little Dolphin, mullet swim and slap the water frantically. His mother circles a fish quickly. She, f she flings the fish high in the air with her snout and it lands on the water with a smack. She dashes over and lifts the stunned fish into her beak. The air, is, the air above fills with the thump and swoosh of pelican wings and the squawk of hungry gulls. The birds at the surface of the water pick off the fish at the dolphin's leave. Excited by the noise and the smell of the hunt, a shark appears out of the murky depths. Nanny sees it. Little Dolphin feels his, feels his nanny's heart begin to pound. Nanny whistles, and Mother moves in close by her side. They make a snug cradle for Little Dolphin between them. He feels them pull as they race down through the water, down to safety. One flipper on Mother's back, one flipper on Nanny's. Oh, they look frightened. I mean, who wouldn't be? Sharks are very dangerous. Ooh. Crack, crack. The older dolphins fire out a sharp sound wave, fire out sharp sound waves toward the shark. The shark turns away, confused. For a moment, up above his head, Little Dolphin can see one of the older dolphins charging after the shark. Her skin is streaked with scars, some of them from other tangles with sharks. Thump! The dolphin bangs the shark sharply in the gills, and he turns and swims away. Yep, I hear that a dolphin can kill a shark by doing that. Mm-hmm. Some friends of mine told me that, but I didn't believe them. But... When I saw it happen on television, I did believe them. Little Dolphin and his mother and nanny return to the surface. Dolphins from another pod arrive, and some of the grown-ups dive down and circle around another, one another. They come up and slap the water with their flukes. The dolphins leap high out of the water. Little Dolphin watches. He hears them whistle and chatter. <laughs> Two older babies swim over and offer, and offer Little Dolphin a piece of seaweed. They push it back and forth as if it were a little toy. As the sun settles down near the horizon, the other dolphins begin to go their separate ways. Little Dolphin snuggles against his mother's side. Above the, above, the evening sky darkens until it matches the deep blue of the ocean. Mother whistles softly to her new baby. The waves rock them back and forth, and soon Little Dolphin is asleep. Some of the grown-ups fall asleep too, but they each keep one eye open, ever alert for danger. Tomorrow, another day begins. Little Dolphin will awaken with his mother, his nanny, and his friends at his side. They will be there for him always, protecting him and teaching him for each new day of growing. The end. What is, what is it that you like about dolphins the most? Let me know in the comments. See you later. Bye.